Welcome back to the Angelus module library tutorial. Uh, this one's a short and sweet one, 1 1.3, clocking an envelope. First we'll read it and we'll talk about it. Clocks can also open and close envelopes. An envelope will rise to the gate height set by the clock, and once the clock goes low, the envelope will fall back to zero. Play with the hertz and PW controls and see how it affects the envelope's output. The output of an envelope is a modulation signal scaled from zero to one. So just like the uh, sequencer in the last patch, we have something that's outputting, it's taking in a gate signal and outputting a modulation signal. So every time this gate pulses, you can see the rising edge in the kind of background here in this waveform node, the envelope rises up according to the attack time, falls down to the sustain level according to the decay, holds at the sustain level for as long as the gate output is high, and then once the gate output goes low, it trails off back down. So we can play with the uh, controls here. First, so we have a faster attack there. You see how it's sharper on the initial edge. And then we can have a longer decay, so it's falling down uh, slower. And then a longer release too. And we can play with the sustain. If we do the decay, you can see a little better. We can have a higher sustain there. Okay, and we can also adjust the clock speed. So we can have a faster clock. And you see the envelope repeating a lot more quickly there. And we can have a slower clock. And the note is holding for longer. And we can adjust the pulse width where you have not very much on time, but a lot of off time in between. So you have these notes that are very far, they sound like they would, they will sound like they're very far away from each other. And then you have a higher pulse width, and then the note is stretched out for a long time because you have the sustain holding this entire period, and then just a small gap in between each notes. Okay, so that's it for this part. What, what we're really showing you here is again, the clock isn't just for sequencers. It can also be used to trigger things like the uh, this analog ADSR tile. And again, key is that you have a gate output going to a gate input, and then you have a modulation output uh, that's going on to do other things. You would use this to open and close a VCA or a filter envelope. We'll touch on those topics uh, later as we go on. So see you in the next one.